now from the MGM Grand of Las Vegas, 12 rounds of boxing for the undisputed welterweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing white, red, and green, official weight, 146 pounds, professional record, 28 victories, including 21 knockouts, with seven defeats and two bouts even. From Culiacan, Sinaola, Mexico, the IBF number one ranked welterweight challenger in the world, Cosme Chino. Rivera! And his opponent, across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing red and black, official weight, 146 and one half pounds. Professional record, 33 victories, including 24 knockouts, with only two defeats. From Brooklyn, New York, the three-time world champion, the reigning defending, undisputed, overweight, champion of the world, Zab Super Dude! Joe Cortez. We'll want to get the fighters together. And I think, Jim, we know what he's going to say, don't we? Yep, <laughs> the well-worn catchphrase, yes. But I think uh, he may possibly have a busy night tonight, uh, Cortez, because I think Rivera will want to get in amongst us. She's second here. All right, gentlemen, we went to the rules in the dressing room. There's the regla de Camerino. I expect a good, clean fight. Quiero una pelea limpia. Mira, lo golpe aquí tan... Tan bueno aquí todavía, esto está un poco alto. It's a little high here. Give me a clean fight, remember guys. I'm fair, but I'm firm. Touch a ball. There we go. Three and a half years on, Zab Judah returns to the scene of his darkest night when he was blown apart by the right hands of Kostya Tsu here at the MGM. He seriously damaged his name with his complaints and tantrums afterwards. But he's back. A more mature fighter, a family man. He's made his apologies, paid his dues, and is back on top of the world. 11 to 1 on to retain his world 10 stone 7 crown against this big underdog, the tall, angular Cosme Chino Rivera. He's never been stopped, Rivera. He has lost seven times. And he's down with the left hand inside the opening 30 seconds. Fabulous start from Zab Judah. That's the first time Rivera has been down in his life. Well, that was just an example of perfect timing. Didn't wind the punch up. Bang on the spot. Rivera smiling. He, he does have a good chin. I think that was more of a push. I don't think he's going to count that. No, that looked to me like more of a push. He does. He takes that out officially down for the second time in the opening round no three knockdown rule in effect but this was the round that Zab Judah blew away Jaime Rangel in Atlantic City and he's trying to do the same up at welterweight to Cosme Rivera right hand and the Mexican is in absolute desperate trouble well I thought the biggest danger was Judah looking beyond this fight there but I couldn't be further from the truth he is taking this seriously he wants an early night trying to regain his composure Rivera who's been amusing and light-hearted all week not being uh, antagonized by the Judah camp but look at the uh, slick skills of the classy New York Southpaw I think Rivera is shocked at the speed of the punches coming his way he's never been anywhere near this class this is a different world from where he's been settling down now warming to the task but what a disastrous opening round Judah just stalking waiting to unleash his shots from those weird angles breathe life back into his career Zab Judah 
Well, all week Rivera has the look of a man with nothing in the world to worry about. Well, it's certainly changed now. Never been stopped, remember, Adam. First world title at the age of 28 to challenge for Cosme Rivera. And such a huge move up in levels. But he's still there. Having been down twice. I think his confidence is completely shaken. Not really trying to get any solid punches up. I just think he's trying to get to the bell. He's never shaken again. Every clean puncher lands. Left hook and Judas combination rattling in. Smile from Rivera, but what a nightmare for him. Jimmy Montoya in the corner there with Cosme Rivera. Is there any way back? I wouldn't say so. I mean, the golf in class. I worried maybe about the attitude of Judah, you know, maybe looking beyond this fight, maybe not taking it too seriously. But it's been quite the office. I mean, that was a massive round. Every clean punch that landed in this guy, who does, has proven in the past, he has a solid chin, got him in trouble. He was lucky to survive the round. Look at that. I mean, that's just perfection. Didn't wind the punch up, it's just the, the, the body weight shifting onto the front foot as the punch lands. I thought he was bundled down. I, I thought the referee was a little bit cruel with the second knockdown. And as I see in slow motion, eh, I think I was right. Still, it was counted as a knockdown. Massive opening round for champion. Second round. First defence of the world welterweight title. He wrenched away on uh, foreign soil in St. Louis from Cory Spink, Zab Judah. And he couldn't have dreamt of a better opening round. Cosme Rivera, the Mexican based in LA, floored twice. Left hand again, really gets through the defences of Rivera. This is sheer quality and class from Judah. I mean, it just put, this is always on the punch bag. Is everything perfection can't miss. Winding up the left hand, the former world like welterweight champion. Wants the marquee fights against Oscar De La Hoya and Shane Mosley. Said he was going to impress, and so far he's been so true to his word. Rivera has to get some punches off when he stands off he's been caught cleanly so he's as well just getting the chin down trying to come forward and get some right hands of his own off because he just cannot get into this fight this is a hard man the Mexican came over to Britain and defeated one of our best guys James Hare a couple of years ago boxing's about levels isn't it yeah, we always knew there was a huge gulf in class, but this has even shocked me. Here he goes again. Every punch that lands clearly has him in trouble. Doubling up sweetly with the left, Zab Judah. Looking what he is, one of the best fighters in the world. I mean, he's toying with Rivera here, just trying to drum on. You can see him cocking the left hand, flicking with the right, just trying to drum onto that shot again. Picks out the jab, looks for the body of Rivera. Well, he's gamely getting through the second round, Rivera, but he just can't get anything off. No, he doesn't even have the confidence to, to throw a punch. He knows every mistake he makes. He's punished and punished badly. It's a beautiful exhibition from Zab Judah. And a left hand slashed at the end of the second. Welcome back to the magnificent MGM Arena.
here on the Las Vegas Strip. And it's a happier return for Zab Judah. He wanted to uh, exonerate the ghosts from 2001 when he was knocked out by Kossius Yu and uh, threw a stool in the ring and a glove at Jane Aidy, the referee. But he's back and he's back in style. 27 years of age in fight number 37 flooring Cosme Rivera twice in the opener and outboxing him in the second. Oh well, the first little bit of success for Rivera. And he badly needs something to build his confidence. It's a right hand from Rivera. Judah has gone down a few times before. He may think Rivera that as long as he's in there, he's got a puncher's chance of landing something. I think he has to let some more punches go. He has to get the chin down, the hands up, and let some punches go. When he stands off, he's completely outclassed. This is much better from Rivera. I wonder what he shot lived. But this is what he has to do. He has to try and force himself into this fight. He's not going to outthink Judah. He just has to force himself in there. And mind constantly ticking over. Zab Judah's excellent boxing brain is from the streets of Brownsville, Brooklyn. Come up a hard way, but has settled into a super prize fighter, living up to his nickname. Yeah, without a doubt, uh, see, I think this is just at the moment, uh, as though he's in his little 15 minutes of fame, now I'm going to take over again, just putting him back in his place with that solid straight left hand. Oh, beautiful punch! Fantastic uppercut from Zab Judah, and Rivera is again badly stung. Oh, that was absolute class. And Rivera goes down, third time in the fight. And this time, he really has to desperately hold on to the ropes. Joe Cortez is going to have a first He's out of there. Fight's over in the third round. A masterclass from Zab Judah, who stands aloft and takes the applause. And toyed and destroyed Cosme Rivera and confirmed his status as the best welterweight on the planet. Well, we're talking pound for pound. Do we have to reassess or do we remind ourselves that this fellow, to being honest, he's a glorified club fighter, lucky to get the shot here. But uh, what Judah did jump was unbelievable out of this world. This man is sheer class, sheer class, and that was a wonderful performance. Punch perfect. Rivera, the mandatory challenger. Judah wanted a bigger fight, but he said he would take care of business first before enticing Oscar De La Hoya into the ring. What a match that would be. In that left uppercut is as good a punch as I've seen in years. Been perfectly timed. Didn't have to think about it. The punch just seemed to come out of its own accord. Good to be delivered. And from this point on, the fight was over. Reinvented himself in the last 12 months, Zab Judah. Yeah, well, what an amazing turnaround. I mean, from his confidence completely shattered, now undisputed champion at the weight above. Unbelievable. Real sheer class. And everything he did tonight, just sheer class.